Hello and welcome to Texit Tutorials. Uh, today uh, we are going to learn about ID versus class in CSS. It's a design related question when to use ID and when to use class. IDs are unique identifiers which means once you use ID for one element the same ID cannot be used elsewhere within the same document. Let's say you have an ID main for a paragraph. You cannot have, you cannot use the same ID for another paragraph. Think of ID as uh, your driver license number. Uh, you can't have two, uh, you cannot have two driver licenses with the same number issued by the same agency. Classes are great classifiers. Unlike ID, they are not unique in nature. Let's say you have a paragraph with a class chapter. You can have another paragraph with class chapter as well. Secondly, you can have only one ID per element. However, you can have multiple classes per element. Thirdly, ID gets a higher priority than class when it comes to CSS. Let's look at an example. Let's use CodePen to do this example. Here um, in HTML, I'm going to create uh, an, a, a div and I'm going to give it content called ID versus class. As you can see, it renders here the, the HTML here. Okay, I'm going to give here an ID equal to main. I'm also going to give it a class equal to my class. Now I am going to give, now I'm going to uh, style this class my class color is red and as you can see the color turned to red now for the same element I'm gonna have a conflicting color using ID main and here I am going to have a color blue now the color turns to blue now usually the last style gets a higher priority so in this case it's ID so it should get the higher priority but let's say if I move the class here it still stays blue which means ID has higher priority when it comes to CSS rendering so now that you know that uh, uh, ID gets a higher priority then class in CSS, um, one use of ID would be um, in a case where, uh, let's say you have a third party CSS um, uh, affecting a, a style of your element and, and you wanna change that style without actually modifying that third party uh, CSS because you're not supposed to change the third party CSS. Um, you can use ID. Um, to overwrite your CSS. Uh, that. Now let's look at design patterns um, in terms of when to use ID and class. Um, let's say you have uh, two teams working on the same HTML uh, but writing two different sections, section one and section two. Uh, and they are supposed to independently develop. Let's say you delegated work out to some other company who's developing this one section and your team is developing another section. Using of ID would create problem because you don't know if the other team is using the same ID or not. Uh, in this case, I think using classes over ID is much more um, important. And, and I think overall I would say uh, I would use more classes than ID. And also the same applies to uh, people who are developing uh, HTML components. 
uh, which could be used uh, within any HTML. Um, in this, in that case, you know, use of no ID is it's needed because you have no idea what the other HTML is gonna have. In conclusion, I would say I would I I would prefer to use more classes than IDs uh, because anything that pretty much anything that you can do with ID you can do with classes um, and it's not the other way around so use more classes and that's just my opinion if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel like the video and provide a constructive comment and if you have a question regarding anything that I've covered in this tutorial please feel free to actually email me or provide a comment and if there is any topic that you would like to be covered uh, then just email me and uh, I will be able to provide a tutorial on that topic within a, a week or two.